What's up guys, Roby Tech here. One of the things that we did is when we got finished doing our system for the AMD budget build, um, is we had a deep cool Castle 360 EX, which at the time was on a ridiculous sale, actually pretty close to the same price as this one. And we were like, man, that's awesome. And we, we did all our planning, did all of our work around it, made our step-by-step -step guide. And then sure enough, actually, it looks like it got discontinued. So what we're adding to the guide today is actually this new replacement, the LS720. It's got a new pump, a new tech inside of it. It's around the same price as the Castle 360 EX, but it actually brings your overall temps, et cetera, actually down. So we are going to jump into right now with Andy, a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to basically get this installed with the exact same build without any problems. So Andy, here you go, catch. Thanks, Justin. I'll take it from here. The first stop, let's get our AIO put together. Make sure you have a nice, clean area. And when you open up the box, this is what you're gonna find. Three 120 millimeter fans. There's also a 360 millimeter radiator and a box with all of our screws, brackets, and some cables. These are the four standoffs that we are using and they attach directly to the motherboard. Four thumb screws, which will secure the pump on the AIO. Two brackets that will go on our pump, along with the little baby screws that will secure them in place. And then our radiator and fan screws. So the first thing we're gonna do is daisy chain our fans together. Then you will find this cable. One end connects directly to the fan like this. And then on the other end is an ARGB fan header and SATA connection, which we'll do in a little bit. There's also one more spot on the fan that we have to connect to, but we'll do this after we install the pump. Next, place the fans on top of the radiator. The fans are in an exhaust pattern, and I did this primarily for aesthetics. However, if you're interested in learning more about intake versus exhaust and everything about AIOs, check out our comprehensive guide here or comment down below. Now you're gonna take your long screws and you're going to secure the fans in place directly onto the radiator. Next, we attach our two shiny brackets with the little baby screws. The brackets are not exactly the same size, so you wanna make sure that you double check the manual for positioning as you follow along here. So now that this AIO is all set to go, we're gonna move it to the side in a nice safe spot while we work on taking the old one out. And if you don't have an AIO installed, you can skip to the next section. Now here's our AMD build that we did together. This is the top mounted AIO that's coming out and we are gonna replace it with this. But before we do that, there are some supplies that we need to gather. The first one being a number two Phillips head screwdriver. You're also going to need some isopropyl alcohol because we're gonna use this to clean off our CPU and some paper towels. I also recommend having some thermal paste even though the cold plate on this AIO already has pre-applied paste. In case you touch it, disrupt it, or you just wanna apply your own, you're gonna to need to clean that cold plate off with isopropyl alcohol and then add this to your CPU, which I'll actually show you in a little bit. I also recommend some zip ties. That way you can clean up your cables again once we get this in place. Now, if you watched our AMD build video, you'll remember that in order to get this AIO up top, we actually had to loosen the three fans in the front. So that's what we're gonna do first. So you're gonna pop off the front cover and then loosen the screws on the bracket that's holding the front fans in place. Next, we're gonna remove the pump. So we grab our Phillips head screwdriver and take off these four silver standoffs that are holding the brackets in place. Then we will disconnect all the cables connected to this AIO, which include four RGB cables that are connected to this ARGB hub, three fan headers connected to this fan hub. Next, we're gonna remove all 12 screws that are holding the radiator in place. This is when you're gonna to need to move the front fans just a little bit to give yourself enough room to get the radiator out. As you wiggle this out, don't forget to remove the pump header attached to the top of the motherboard, along with the additional ARGB cable we attached to the bottom. So the AAO is out. All of this, we say goodbye to. So now we need our isopropyl alcohol to clean off the CPU. AMD Ryzen 5 7600X. Nice and squeaky clean. Now because we already used the deep cool AIO, these standoffs are identical to the ones that came in the new box. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna take these off just to show you where the standoffs go. If you remember, this is what the four standoffs look like and the black side goes directly onto the motherboard. Now at this point, if you're gonna use your own thermal paste, you would apply it to the CPU. It's important to get full coverage, but if you're gonna be using the pre-applied paste that came with the AIO, you can skip this step. 
Just be really careful not to touch or disturb the pre-applied paste. Now, before you slot this radiator in place, I recommend snaking these cables to the back. The SATA cable, a fan hub, and an ARGB. Gently place it down. You do not want to crush any cables. And then we have the two cables attached to our pump. We have our pump header, and this is where it goes, right at the top of the motherboard where it says pump fan. And then this is going directly into the fan right here. Now we're gonna put the radiator into position. The easiest way to do it is to go in and then scoop up like that. Make sure your cables are all tucked behind the fans, nothing sticking out from the front. Now we take the pump, line up the brackets over the standoffs and place down directly onto the CPU. Go around, tighten each silver thumb screw until nice and secure. Then we're gonna take the fan header that we snake to the back and attach it right here on the motherboard. And the ARGB cable can come right up through the bottom and attach right here onto the motherboard. Now we're gonna use these little screws to attach our radiator to the top. The last cable to connect is the SATA cable. We already have a SATA PSU cable so we can directly connect to that. And don't forget to screw back on the bracket holding the three front fans and pop on the cover. So one last thing, we're gonna peel this off, which actually the Deep Cool logo is gonna be going in the wrong orientation, but we, could, we can swap that. Just pops off very easily, pops right back into place. All right, are we ready? Let's power it on and see if it works. In three, two, one. Whoa, there you go. I will say the one takeaway that I liked about this AIO is the fact that the fan cables can be daisy chained, so significantly less cables than the prior version that we'd done in the AMD build video. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, we just wanna make sure that for the most part that you understand and we keep these guys up to date. So if a MOBO needs a change or whatever it was, we just basically update that. So always make sure that if you're looking up and you're watching that entire step-by-step -step guide, Look for those little white things up above there because those are gonna be the things that are gonna let you know that this has been updated and that you need to jump to that particular video um, to get the best experience. And again, we also upgrade the description down below with both links to uh, the full step-by-step -step guide and then also links to the proper parts to basically purchase. If you follow this guide, would love for you to basically head on over to at Robitech, tag us over on Twitter or Instagram, show us your builds. We'd love to see that we're helping people make amazing systems. And uh, you know what? It's also nice that this actually drops your temps by, you know, seven to 10 degrees, which is actually pretty rad, giving you even that much more headroom for any build that you're going to, uh, going to potentially upgrade uh, in the future. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Again, don't forget to follow us on all the socials at Robitech tech absolutely everywhere. And also don't forget to join our Discord server if you have questions about upgrading or if you have further technical questions or things about setting up, etc. Head on over to our Discord server, discord.gg slash Robitech. Literally tens of thousands of people there who are tech and PC enthusiasts who love to talk about these very subjects. And at the same time, also, you know what? You might make a friend. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a short one, but we wanted to make sure that you were good to go and we will see you on the next one.